in at the center. And for the Bucks, Matthews and Middleton, the two wings. Giannis is the four with Lopez the five. And it's Bledsoe in at the point guard. Tip-off goes to Milwaukee. Passes to Anadokounmpo. Good D by James. Boy, patrolling the paint well, protecting the rim, that's exactly the kind of defensive effort you need against him. And the shot goes in. Just so resourceful as a player. Davis gets the job done inside in all sorts of ways. And that's one of them right there, crashing the offensive glass, getting that second chance bucket. Now here's Ande de Kumbo. Six on the shot clock. And here's Matthews for the three. LeBron, one of those players who gets fired up by defense as much as offense, and that block going to put a major bounce in his step. You know, I don't think it's ever too late to make a sweet nine. I mean, even if you're halfway through your shot, you might find a better one with four teammates. Now here's Bledsoe. To the middle. And Matthews gets it to go in on the assist from Eric Bledsoe. Matthews strong and confident. Able to finish through tough defense there. It's thrown by to Jacumbo. And now the fast break. Matthews with the ball. Cranes the jumper to finish the break. Matthews has got his second basket. Probably wasn't the shot they were looking for, but they'll take the buck. Davis with it. Back to LeBron. Just five to shoot. Pass to Green. No dice from the high post. You, you almost have to assume he's going to knock those down when he is that open. Matthews dishes to Bloodsoe. Back to Matthews. Lopez kicks to Matthews. And trying for the go-ahead basket, it doesn't go in. Green passes to James. If you're just tuning in, we played about two and a half minutes here in the first. Milwaukee has gone 0 of 2 from deep here. Bledsoe for three. Good, and the assist goes to Middleton. You know, I think it's critical that Bledsoe shoots with confidence off the catch. I mean, I like that mentality. James finds Bradley. High post, Davis. Bradley passes to LeBron. Over onto the Kumbo. They get it again. And it's McGee slamming it down. I think McGee's been working on that one. I mean, you don't just come up with that off the top of your head, boy. You got to think that one through. And stolen by LeBron. On the wing, Green. And it's McGee with the jam. That's a double whammy, guys. <laughs> That's right. A great defensive play, then the emphatic stuff. Well, turning defense to offense, we talk about it all the time. Try to hit your opponent at the other end before they can set up the defense. Now LeBron following the three-point attempt by Giannis. On the wing, James. He's covered by Matthews. Misses the wing three. It's almost as if there's a lid on the hoop for him right now. He still hasn't gotten one to fall in the fourth. You know, Bledsoe has developed his passing skills to the point where you've got to respect that part of his game. He's doing a nice job finding his open guy. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Kevin, I was able to talk with Frank Vogel for just a minute. Now, history may not be on their side tonight, but he said, that's okay with me. We need to make a little history of our own. We'd like them to become one of the few teams who have ever won a finals game seven on the road. He told me, mark it down. This is a challenge we're up to. We're built for this. We will see, Kevin. Back to you. Thank you, David. The Lakers trail. And they double up Davis. And here's McGee. 
over onto the Kumbo, and he buries that one, drilling the rim on the way down. Here's Bledsoe. the pass to Giannis and he could not get that one to go out of contact and he'll go to the line for two that's on LeBron James and quite honestly guys onto Tacumbo. get that name right folks he's one of the most unique talented players in the league I mean long arms which really create a lot of problems for the defenders whether he's passing or shooting free throw no good yeah Anna the Kumpo has really learned how to get himself to the foul line it's one of the easiest ways to score the ball he gets to the stripe at a higher clip with each passing year and he's good on the second here's James He's still scoreless so far in this one. Pass to Davis. Shoots from the baseline. Bank shot. No good. Milwaukee's gone. Just one of four from three-point range here in the first. Passes it to Lopez. Here's Bledsoe. And it's Bradley with the rebound. And it's Bradley with the ball for Los Angeles. Kicks to James, stolen by Bloodsoe. Pass to Lopez. Takes the three, sinks the three pointer. And we've seen several lead changes tonight, neither team giving an inch. Yeah, and the lead has changed hands, and it just hasn't stayed in those hands very long when it's changed. Back and forth we go. Now, here's Bradley. The pass to Davis. LeBron James on the wing. Five on the clock. And again, no good by the Lakers. Bucks leading by three. It's Matthews on the wing, guarded by Bradley. Here's Giannis. Bucks passing it around. Lopez. McGee with the block. Boy, and the wingspan McGee has covers a lot of ground. Very useful for shot blocking. And the Lakers making a change here. Kuzma's checked in. Shot clock at six. Here's Giannis. The shot goes in first of the night. He's one for three to start the game. Just a lovely touch on that little flaw from Antetokounmpo. You know, that's a nice little shot to have in your repertoire. This guy is the full and total package. Now here is McGee. Six points for him. They need this one. They get the rebound. Bucks leading by five. Middleton the pass to out of the Kumbo. Does not find the basket. His third miss. He's made just one so far. And finished off by LeBron. LeBron James knows the meaning of the word layup, but he's much more interested in throwing time it down out, when out. he can. And Milwaukee calls their first time out of the game. Hill, he's checked in for Milwaukee. Morris is checked in for the Lakers. Hondo comes in for James. Giannis against Morris. Deep two from Hill. And it's blocked by Bradley. Up top, Kuzma. He's covered by Matthews. Hill against Rondo. Latre. 
Onto Takumbo, pulls it in. Onto Takumbo has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Hill dishes to Lopez. Outside Matthews. Rocket six over Rondo. Milwaukee, no good that time either. The shot's there for him, and he's got to take it. I don't care if he doesn't convert. That's a shot he has to continue to take. Milwaukee in the lead. Giannis outside. Pass to Matthews. Lopez outside. To the inside. Hill, no good. They hold the early advantage on the glass. Yeah, nothing major, not a huge advantage, but certainly a good sign for them going forward. Now here's Davis. He kicks it to Rondo. Inside, Morris. And it's good coming on the assist by Rajon Rondo. They're getting on a roll inside. Their last three field goals have come from the paint. Hill passes to Giannis. Down low. Here's Matthews. And there's the whistle on the shot. Took the foul. Shot misses. He'll be shooting two. And the foul called on Los Angeles. It's his first trip to the line. First free throw is good. You know, Wes Matthews plays with that chip and edge that comes from not being drafted. Um, he's a quality player now, and I think that edge has served him well throughout his career. Looking at who's out there now for the Bucks, Robin Lopez has checked in for Lopez. Iliasova comes in for Antetokounmpo, and it's Dante DiVincenzo in for Chris Middleton. And so he makes both from the line. And so James will bring it up for the Lakers. They trail by one. LeBron is doubled. Passes it to Kuzma. Caldwell Pope for three. Rebound Milwaukee. They came out on top in their last match on Wednesday. Yeah, and with most of the arena against them, they just banded together and trusted one another to make the right play. Well, you know, the cohesiveness was evident out there. These guys feel like they can win in any arena, and they proved it that game. And a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for the Bucks. They've set the first half tone by getting out on the fast break and getting the take defenders break. Take on break. their heels. The other thing that's helped them early tonight are the points they've been able to convert off turnover. And that one misses. And there's no denying that Rondo is a wizard with the ball. Exceptional at exploiting holes in the defense. Here's what Milwaukee's going with right now. Williams, he's checked in for Lopez. Corver comes in for Wesley Matthews. And it's Pat Connington in for Dante DiVincenzo. Good on the second free throw. Milwaukee has gone 2 of 5 from three-point land here in the first quarter. Outside Hill. The three from Corver. Good. The assist goes to Hill. And the Bucks lead by three. And this is Corver's shot. Continues to knock down that tray ball. He's as consistent as it gets from here. On the wing, James. He's guarded by Williams. It's good. James has got his second basket of the night. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Well, listless and lifeless at the defensive end. I mean, especially inside. They've really got to pick up that interior defense. Seems to have a knack for hitting guys in their spots. His vision, excellent. Caldwell Pope feeling it out of it. Hits it from three-point range. Caldwell Pope's got the game tied up here for the Lakers. Very effective at spacing the floor. Contavious Caldwell Pope has gone from an average outside shooter to a dangerous one. Hill dishes to Williams. Outside Corver. 
Here's Connaughton. He's guarded by Caldwell Pope. Clock is at three. And stolen by Kuzma. All alone. And Kuzma slams it in. Well, you've got to be attentive around Kuzma. You can't be casual. He's excellent at gambling appropriately and coming away with steals. Now here's Ilyasova. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Hill, no good. No doubt it's been a bit of a struggle for him here in this quarter in terms of scoring. For three, Caldwell Pope. And again, Los Angeles with the triple. And that's exactly what he's looking for, draining the triple. Three-second difference between shot clock and game clock. And here's Hill for three. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Davis has got his fifth rebound right now in the game. So hard, actually impossible to cut into the lead when you have a guy struggling this badly. Out of bounds, the Lakers will take possession. to Caruso over Hill and that shot was up in time but doesn't go in and so the first quarter is in the books Lakers ahead ending the first quarter with a tremendous 17 to 7 run stay with us as we get set to bring you the second quarter right after this Courtside at game seven as this series comes to a head. And from what we've seen so far from the Lakers, guys, what are your thoughts? Aggressive at running guys to the backboard. You could tell it was part of their game plan coming in. Yeah, and you know, when a team establishes an edge on the glass early, it really sets things up for the rest of the game. Los Angeles leading by five. And a moment now to reset the lineups, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up for the second quarter of basketball. Setting the floor for the Bucks, the backcourt comprised of Bledsoe and Matthews. Middleton and Giannis are the forward tandem. And it's Lopez in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. And Milwaukee has possession after the basket by Los Angeles. Bledsoe kicks to Matthews. And a great assist by Bledsoe as that one goes in. Bledsoe's got his third assist on the night. Caruso, the pass to Howard. He dishes it to LeBron. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. Boy, LeBron's taking a lot of punishment over the years. For him, just part of the game. And a chance for just a second to check out the scoring breakdown for the Lakers. Guys, right from the start, it's been apparent they're determined to establish a presence in the paint. Another big aspect of the game tonight has been the fast break, transition opportunities. They're really keeping it up tempo so far. And the first one at the line is good. You look at LeBron James, he's truly a remarkable talent. And every season he seems to add something else to his game. It's been fun watching him, and I'm not sure how much longer we're going to see him at this level. He hits one and misses one each at the line. Bucks trail by five. Middleton on the wing. Dishes to Matthews. Now Middleton. Six to shoot over LeBron. Middleton can't get it to go. 
and smothered him on that mid-range attempt. As a defender, he's going to just be a bothersome, worrisome guy, making you miserable all night. A hand in your face on every jump. Kuzma can't get it to go. Milwaukee has gotten fewer than half of their three-pointers to go down tonight. They're four for nine. Bledsoe kicks to Middleton. Lopez outside. Howard with the steal. James wide open. And the rebound goes to Lopez. The defense there got away with a major lapse. Bledsoe outside. The pass to Lopez. Just five on the clock. Fires the three. The shot, no good. Great tee that time from Green. Fires from the wing. That one wide left. Bucks trail by five. Bledsoe left side. To the paint. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. And have to respect the inside game of Lopez. Even when you contest him, he stays focused near the rim. Davis has checked in for Kyle Kuzma. And the fun-loving personality Lopez has makes him a likable teammate. It's clear that they love playing. Pass to Caruso. Back to LeBron. Loads it up for Davis. And Davis throws it down. And you can see him give a little nod and then just burst to the rim for the alley-oop slam. A pair of teammates, Greg, with a terrific feel for each other. And I tell you what, guys, that's a big play to make in a close game. Potential momentum builder there. Here's Lopez. Following the basket by Anthony Davis. And the dunk by Giannis. And Anacumpo is so long. I mean, he stretches forever, covers a ton of ground. James dishes to Davis. Back to LeBron. And that one falls coming time off out, of Davis's out. feed. And that's now seven points for LeBron. Watch out now. When this guy gets into a rhythm, it is something to behold. Timeout called the Bucks. A different look for Milwaukee. Brook Lopez has checked in for Lopez. And it's Hill in for Eric Bloodsoak. Bucks trail by four. This is a two out of the Kumbo. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. That's on Dwight Howard. Well, I tell you what, the long arms of Antetokounmpo are really incredibly lethal in the paint. Sometimes the defense really has no choice but to foul him and then hope he misses. And this is his second trip to the line tonight. good on that one. Oh. 
And no good on the second free throw. So he goes 0 for 2 there. And this kind of free throw shooting just leaves a coach shaking his head. I mean, they have been awful from the line this quarter. Green, the pass to LeBron. Here's Caruso. Trying to get open is Davis. And another three for the Lakers. There is a bunch to appreciate about LeBron's game. His passing is off the charts. Just look at that feed. Hill kicks to Adetokounmpo. There's his third field goal, and now he's made half of his six shots. And so James will bring it up for the Lakers. It's a five-point game. On the wing, Green. Good, and the assist goes to James. LeBron's got four assists in the game. Yeah, that's two bombs in a row from long range. Giannis passes to Matthews. Middleton for three. That one falls. His second basket of the game. He's now two for three. And they're shooting really well from long range this quarter. They should keep looking to the three-point shot for some extra offense. This shot's just, it's not there right now. With this team leading, perhaps, you know, let's focus on some other areas of the game. Matthews, no good. Lakers leading by five. Pass to Howard. Here's Caruso. James left side to the inside. Lopez with the steal. Giannis passes to Middleton. Let's the free fly. And James pulls it down. LeBron's got his fifth rebound in this one. Here's Caruso. He has five. Nice passing here by Los Angeles. There's Green with the three. Good D by Matthew. Bucks trail by five. Down low. Here's Giannis. Count that as his fourth basket of the night. Just seven shots to get there. And Giannis is a beast. The Greek freak. A dominant player on the offensive end. And the Lakers decide to take their first time out here. And team strategies closely guarded. One aspect of the game the fans aren't always privy to. Yeah, typically there's some type of adjustment made out of a timeout. It might be major or it could be just a slight tweak. Milwaukee making a switch here. Corbers checked in. The Lakers also changing it up. Kyle Kuzma's checked in for Green. Bradley comes in for Alex Caruso. Arjan Rondo subbed in for LeBron. Now here's Rondo trying to find Davis. He's got it now. An emphatic LU jam. Yeah, and Rondo just working the ball around there. He loves finding his teammates when they're open in the sweet spots. Hill passes to Lopez. Let's it go with a three. He hits hauled in by Los Angeles. Davis has got his sixth rebound on the night. Hondo scanning the floor. Kicks it to Bradley. Just four to shoot. Davis finds Kuzma. A shot off that time. And Milwaukee will come the other way. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Outside Hill. There's the dish to Lopez. It's out of the combo on the wing. Great tee that time from Davis. And he did everything he could to make that shot as difficult as possible. And you know what, guys? That will pump him up because he takes a ton of pride in what he does on defense. 
Now here's Brent. Here's the pass to Rondo. Davis against Hill. A three. Rondo's shot is off. Bucks trail by five. Hill gets to Corbin. It's back to Hill. Drills the three-pointer. Hill's got five now. Sometimes all you can do with Hill is get a hand in his face and hope he misses. He's truly a guy that's not easily flustered or wrapped. Rondo passes to Davis. Kuzma outside. Off target with his three. You know, he's not a knockdown shooter from there, but when you're that uncovered, you almost are forced to take it. Now here's Matthews. He's got nine for three. A rebound by the Lakers. Davis has got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Rondo passes to Brantley. Pass to Howard. Shoots over Corver. Howard can't hit. Something that's kept this game close is the fact that the rebound stats for both teams are almost identical. The battle to a standstill on the boards has really been something to watch. The game's not over yet. We'll see if one of these teams maintains more energy than the other going down the stretch. Hill finds Lopez. Passes it to Matthews. Outside Hill. Beyond the arc. That's a bucket. His third of the game. He shot the ball seven times. They've given up a lot of three-pointers here today. And their defensive rotations have been non-existent. And the Lakers call time here. They're trying to stem the tide here. Yeah, you know, they had to do something, anything to stop this run. You can't just let it go on any longer. A different look for Milwaukee. Chris Middleton's checked in for Corvin. Dante DiVincenzo comes in for Wesley Matthews. Eric Ludsoe is subbed in for George Hill. The Lakers also changing it up. Markeith Morris is checked in for Howard. Contavious called Will Pope comes in for Bradley. And it's LeBron in for Rajon Rondo. Kicks it out to James. And it's the Bucks on the break. Here's Yacht. And onto Takumbo slams it in. And Giannis out of the Kupo has some major hops. Almost seven feet tall. He makes it look effortless. Caldwell Poe passes to Davis. And they double up Davis. Nice passing here by Los Angeles. Ludzo against Caldwell Poe. Five to shoot. The Lakers need to get a shot off here. James with a deep three. Los Angeles with a fresh shot clock. And it's Milwaukee's ball. They're on a 15 to 5 run. There's the feed to Giannis. And too much time in the lane. They get called for the three second violation. Let's take this chance now to show you the list of the postseason scoring leaders. Number one, Giannis Antetokounmpo. Lakers trail by three. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Morris outside. Can't hit that time. Good D by Lopez. One thirty-two left to play here in the half. Here's Giannis. Lopez left side. Pass to DiVincenzo. From deep. And it's going to be a 24-second shot clock violation. They turn it over.
And so it's Davis. He'll bring the ball up for the Los Angeles Lakers. LeBron against Antetokounmpo. And Kuzma slams it in. You know, I think Kuzma's the kind of guy you've got to push out of the paint. When you don't, this is what happened. Antetokounmpo passes to Lopez. And the basket is good. Lopez has got five points so far. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. James looking around. Davis finds Kuzma. Now James. Shot clock at six. Let's it go. Great tee that time from Giannis. Feels to me like this team is going to need more from him, guys. I mean, if they're to erase this deficit, he's got to step up. The shot and game clock separated by four. Here's DiVincenzo. The Lakers with the rebound. Oh, that's terrific defense there. That's how you protect the rim. And there's the pass to Morris. Looking to get back on track here. A putback. Oh, and the buzzer beater's good. Great job of crashing the offensive glass. He stayed with it. That's hard-nosed, tough basketball. Giannis Antetokounmpo, he's feeling it tonight and has been the driving force for the Milwaukee Bucks. He notched eight points in the quarter and has that terrific basketball instinct on display. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thank you, Kevin. Here with Chris Middleton. Chris, it seemed like you all were dictating tempo in the first half. How did you do that? Okay, we're getting the styles, grabbing the rebound now, trying to push it, trying to get the best shot available. Problem solved in transition. Thanks for your time. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, thank you. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the third quarter. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. And hello again. What a showing tonight. A sold-out building is where the action is happening. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. Well, for the Bucks, what a tremendous battle they've got going on here in Game 7. And what other way to be heading into the second half than to be in such a tight-knit game all the way down to the wire. Just a great example of this entire NBA final series. Kenny, your thoughts on the Bucks' first half? Well, I see a team that's playing smart, moving the ball around to the open man, just taking what the defense gives them. There's a nice flow, a nice energy, a nice synergy to the game. Shaq, your take on the Lakers. Well, they were very inconsistent from behind the arc. For the first half, they shot, let me check my stats, uh, in the low 30s. They won't get it done. Good news is they're still in it. I like to see them push the ball up court faster and try to get some open looks. And it's just about time now for the third quarter to get underway. And we're back with you as these two teams do battle in their quest for an NBA championship. Here's Bradley. So for the Lakers right now, at the two and the three, it's Bradley and Green. JaVale McGee is out there with Davis, and it's LeBron in at the point. Now here's James. It's a one-point game, and Davis can't get it to go. Ludzo against Bradley. Pass to Lopez. to the middle. Here's Middleton and down it goes. Dunk through off a wonderful assist. Set him up well there. Brooke Lopez showing his vision and willingness as a passer. LeBron against on the Kumbo. Boats it up for Davis. Takes the alley-oop pass and dunks it down. 
and you could see him give a little nod and then just burst to the rim for the alley-oop slam. A pair of teammates, Greg, with a terrific feel for each other. And I tell you what, guys, that's a big play to make in a close game. Potential momentum builder there. Lakers trail by three. LeBron with it. Seven points in the game. That's good from Davis on the assist by LeBron. James has got his seventh assist in the game. And, you know, got to admire the patience inside from Davis. Outstanding at staying under control, taking his time, and burying the quality shot. Now here's Bledsoe. Shot clock at five. Right block shot, and there are the Bucks with another bucket. And you know, this is why people are so high on Antetokounmpo. I mean, his build and skill set are both platinum level. And he knows how to kick his game up a gear, too. Here is Davis. 12 points for him. LeBron, left shot. Back to Davis. He dishes it to Green. For the tie. And there's the foul. It goes on Wesley Matthews. That'll be his second foul of the game. James finds Davis. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. It goes on Chris Middleton. Davis is really the total package. A mobile, sharp shooting big guy who can score from everywhere. The Lakers have gone two of four at the free throw line. And he makes the first. And so Anthony Davis nails both of them. Really always a plus to have a big guy stroke it from the line like that. The soft touch on full display. Bradley against Bloodsoe. Can he keep it going? Giannis passes to Lopez. McGee with the block. A little over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. Bradley, no one around him. Good, and the assist goes to LeBron. LeBron's got assist number eight now on the night. Giannis against James, and stolen by LeBron. Takes a three. The rebound by Middleton. Middleton's got rebound number five here tonight. He feeds it to Bloodsoe. Pass to out of the Kumbo. And the dunk by Giannis. And the ball handling of Ante the Kumbo. My goodness. Really unreal. For a guy his size, his dribbling is ridiculous. Now here's LeBron. Seven points in the game. Looking to end his cold spell with the fadeaway. Again, Los Angeles. Well, he could have earned some style points there, but he really doesn't need to use the fadeaway when he's that wide open. Giannis passes to Lopez. Inside, here's Middleton. Count that one. Middleton's got it all tied up now for the Bucks. The plan of attack is obvious. Get the ball inside and go strong to the rim. And, Greg, you know, the defense has been very slow to adapt. I mean, that's 10 straight points now inside. Now here's LeBron. Nine points in the game so far. They get it back, and he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. Ashley Matthews picks one up. Hey, you know, guys, McGee has won back-to-back -back titles with the Warriors. You know, that's not too bad for a journeyman. The Lakers have gone four of six so far from the line, missing a couple. Two, two. 
first free throw is good. Second free throw, no good. Yeah, disappointing not to convert all of them, but he did get the one to give them the lead. Middleton finds Budso. Outside, out of the Kumbo. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. And while we have a chance, let's now take a look at the NBA's season assist leaders. LeBron James, number one. Eric Budso, fourth. I think these two guys are having a little personal competition here in the playoffs to see who will finish Take a break. with the most Take a break. assists. Two shots. The first free throw is good. Both free throws, good for Giannis. And so it's Davis He'll bring the ball up for the Los Angeles Lakers. James outside. Back to Davis. Pass to Bradley. The three. Los Angeles with another miss. And you could tell he thought he had a little more space, but the defender was right there. You know, that's a trademark of his defense. Quick to react, close down the shooter, and then affect the shot. And he found the perfect spot behind the arc there. Big gap in the deep. James again, on the Kumbo. Green dishes to James. Outside, Davis. Yes! It's James picking up the assist. Davis has got nine points now in the quarter. For Milwaukee, they've gotten six of their seven shots to go down in this quarter. What a fantastic start to the half. At the elbow, it's Antetokounmpo. Lopez, right side. Bledsoe looking around. Great look, but off the mark. Lakers have gone even 5 of 10 on shot attempts in the third. Bledsoe against LeBron. Three-pointer. And another three for the Lakers. LeBron James can beat you from anywhere on the floor, inside mid-range or from deep. Timeout, timeout called the Bucks. And as the coaches go to the clipboard Sorry. to outline their strategy during the timeout, the players getting a chance to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's key to staying fresh all the way to the final whistle. And Kevin, it really is. And every one of these players knows it. They're all making sure to stay hydrated. It's impossible to play your A game if you're not getting enough to drink, especially uh, towards the end of games when the physical toll of a long contest really starts to add up. And the Bucks making a change here. Even Genzo's checked in. Let's look at the energy stats, how the hustle game has been going for Los Angeles. Boy, they're hounding, harassing effort at the defensive end. Very impressive. And they forced quite a few turnovers as a result. And also, I've been extremely impressed with their interior D. Their rim protection has been as good as it gets. And the slam dunk by Antetokounmpo. Oh, an aggressive move and fantastic finish. Mm, trying to send a message with that slam, I think. That's exactly how you send it. Two hands and down. Now here's Rondo. To the middle. Over in the corner. Caldwell Pope. It's going to be out of bounds. Los Angeles will retain possession. Kyle Korver. He's checked in for Milwaukee. Hill comes in for Eric Bledsoe. And then for Los Angeles. Morris comes in for Dwight Howard. And Kyle Kuzma is subbed in for Caldwell Pope.
Rondo kicks to Caruso. From outside, off the mark. Bucks have gone 7 of 10 on their field goal attempts here in the third. Even Chenzo passes to Corp. Hill against Rondo. Hill dishes to Corver. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Giannis. That shot, no good. And the Lakers going the other way now. Feeds to Rondo. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Yeah, Rondo just isn't afraid of getting hammered on the inside. Remarkable at getting under the skin of his opponents and forcing the issue. And the first one at the line is good. And done a much better job from the line this half. They've gotten that percentage up over 80 for the game. And Rondo drops them both. Bucks trail by four. Now the pass to DiVincenzo. And here's Corver. Pass to DiVincenzo. Shoots. But they'll get another chance. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Ana Dacumbo. Ilyasova, he's checked in for Lopez. Here is Rondo, and here's Los Angeles. They've outscored him 10 points to 2 during this run. Outside, Davis. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. Monster quarter for him. He's put the team on his back, trying to carry them to the W. On the night, he's gone 2 for 2 at the stripe. Misses for Davis. Bucks trail by six. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. And stolen by Kuzma. Here's Rondo. Rebound, Milwaukee. Well, you will not see that from him very often, especially right at the rim. Corver passes to DiVincenzo. Now, Ilias Oba. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Six on the shot clock. Outside Hill. Here's the three. And Davis pulls it down. And here are the Lakers. They've got a 12-2 run in progress. Plenty of daylight on that shot. Kuzma's got the lead up to nine now for the Lakers. The timing, the rhythm. Kuzma really does a nice job catching the defense off guard with those catch-and-shoot jumpers. Oh, he's looking at that. Oh, my goodness. Watch out. How about the flash by Antetokounmpo? I mean, just an insanely talented athlete who loves to punish that rim. Here's Davis. Back to Rondo. Passes to Davis. Outside Rondo fires from deep. Milwaukee with the rebound. Giannis has got his eighth rebound here tonight. Outside Hill over Rondo. Here's Giannis. And the layup's good off the glass. Andre DeCumbo's got 14 points now in the second half. You know, he's got to be exasperated right now, fellas. I mean, playing excellent ball, but they're still losing. Los Angeles calls timeout. And some changes here for the Bucks. Williams comes in for Antetokounmpo. And Middleton subbed in for Kyle Korver. James checked in for Los Angeles. Now here's Rondo. 
It's stolen by Hill. Now here's Hill, the fast break opportunity, and Hill throws it down. One of the things you like about Hill is his instincts. This guy just has a nice feel for where to go on the break. Back to LeBron. Outside Rondo. Davis inside, defended by Middleton. Four on the clock. Here's Rondo. Unable to get that one. Hill with some nice deep. Middleton looking it over. He kicks it to Hill. Pulls it up. That's good on the jump shot. Hill's got four this quarter. The adjustments they've made offensively, they're putting guys in a position now to succeed. It's certainly been an impressive run. They finally found the right formula to break down the defense. And that one's good, Caruso. Tell you what, he has been feeling it, guys, and the best game plan right now, it's elementary. Just keep feeding him. Let him eat. And Ilyasova kicks to Hill. Pass to DiVincenzo. For the tie, knocks down the three ball. DiVincenzo's got the game tied up here for the Bucks. And so far in the second half, this has been a different kind of game than what we saw early on. No question about it. I mean, these teams are really battling hard now. Now here's Rondo. Kuzma passes to LeBron. Back to Kuzma. Launches a three. Good, and the assist goes to LeBron. Kuzma's got ten points. Hey, guys, no better answer than that. Right back at you. Kuzma not taking any time getting those points back. Middleton for three. No good that time. And you could tell he thought he had a little more space, but the defender was right there. You know, that's a trademark of his defense. Quick to react, close down the shooter, and then affect the shot. Anthony Davis firing on all cylinders for Los Angeles. He comes away with 11 points in the quarter and is showing no signs of fatigue. And we'll be right back after this. Let's listen in on what Mike Budenholzer had to say to his team in the huddle. Hey, we got a lot of good looks. We're good. Keep getting stops. Everybody rebound. Mike Budenholzer's offense creating opportunities. Then at the other end, it's his guys obviously to stay focused on defense. And that's when they're at their best. I mean, when they finish possessions defensively, rebound, and get the ball back. And with three quarters behind us, we start the fourth quarter in what is still anybody's ballgame. They've got Kyle Corver, under Takumba out there with Robin Lopez. Then there's Bledsoe, and it's Connaughton in at the Pachuca. That's the group for Milwaukee right now. Now here is Davis. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. You know, guys, sometimes that just happens, but you don't like to see it when the game is this close. The Bucks trail. Here's Antetokounmpo. To take the lead. And again, it's Milwaukee converting. When he's on the floor, Antetokounmpo makes good things happen inside. I mean, he's got so much size and skill. A lot for the defense to try to contend with. Here's Caruso. It's stolen by Antetokounmpo. Here's Bledsoe. And the jam by Bledsoe. Gotta take care of the ball. They'll punish you uh -huh. if you're that careless. That's right. And that's severe punishment right there. Exactly. I mean, when you're running neck to neck, those kinds of mistakes tip the scale. Here's LeBron after the basket by Milwaukee. Outside Davis. Lopez with the steal. They're running. Here's Yuck. Lost contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. And let's get your guys' take now on the hustle steps for Milwaukee. The activity level defensively, I I've really been impressed with. They've been in attack mode on the defensive end. 
Something that's also benefited them tonight the are the turnovers the they forced well, and the points that have come along with those forced turnovers. Free throw, no good for Anadokounmpo. Lakers trail by five. Outside, Green, and the pass to Caruso. Lakers passing it around. Here's Davis. Down and drops through the net for his ninth bucket. He is nine for 13 so far. And you want him taking big shots for you in big moments. That one was as easy as it gets. Well, you don't want to give him any open shots at this stage. Never mind a layup. Come on now. My goodness. And to Takumbo. And he uses the glass on the layup. Giannis has got the lead. Back up to five now for the Bucks. And Los Angeles guys uh, shooting 47% pretty timeout, solid. Timeout. timeout called the Lakers. You look at Andy Dekumbo really making a difference here. And he's just attacking the rim with force here. They need to try and deny him the ball in the paint to keep him away from the basket. Okay, well, let's go down to David Aldridge for a report from the sideline. Well, guys, during that last timeout, I listened to Frank Vogel talk to his team. He is not happy with the sloppy play offensively. He said, make the easy play. Take care of the ball. We can't afford to just give away golden opportunities. And we'll see if they can clean it up, guys. All right, thank you, David. Here's Bledsoe following the basket by LeBron James. On the wing, Giannis. And the double up on Dekumbo. Korver gets a wide open look. Nice open look, but it's no good. Caruso kicks to Green. Dishes to James. Green against Corver. Just five to shoot. And the dunk by LeBron. And so far in the second half, this has been a different kind of game than what we saw early on. No question about it. I mean, these teams are really battling hard now. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. Big group substitution here for Milwaukee. Brook Lopez is checked in for Lopez. Chris Middleton comes in for Kyle Corver. Dante DiVincenzo. He's checked in for Pat Connaughton. And it's Hill in for Eric Bloodson. And the Lakers also making a change. Caldwell Pope's checked in. Well, I love the unselfishness there. I mean, if you're open onto Tacumpo, make sure you get the ball. Green passes to James. Left side, Davis. Back to LeBron. Oh, and the jam by LeBron. That is the savvy of LeBron on display. Doesn't just convert, but draws the foul and has the chance to tack another one on his point total. drops he ties it up here's Hill pass to on the Kumbo and here's Middleton offensive rebound and Giannis throws it down hey I've always said rebounding is timing and tenacity but if you got long arms that helps too and the Greek freak has plenty of reach now here's Caldwell Pope Kicks it to James. Let's go. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. It goes on Giannis Antetokounmpo.
second free throw missing. You know, it's been a bad day for them at the line today as a whole, and far too often that's the case for this team. Sinks the second. And so it's Milwaukee now. They lead by one. Dishes it to Lopez. From downtown, Milwaukee keeping it alive. The new 14. And it's good, two points. Just no resistance on the inside. That's their fifth consecutive make in the paint. And Greg, those looks they're allowing are almost automatic. Here's James and blocked. That one goes careening off the glass. Here's DiVincenzo. The dish to Atatakumbo. Pass to DiVincenzo. Giannis is double. Six to shoot. Three-pointer. Vincenzo can't hit it. And thus far, they've managed to overcome an off game from him offensively. Took him no time at all on that one. Milwaukee's gone 0-3 so far in the fourth quarter from long range. Hill passes to Lopez. It's back to Hill. It's stolen by Green. Pass to Howard. He dishes it to LeBron. The pass to Davis. Down to five on the shot clock. And it's going to be a 24-second shot clock violation. They turn it over. Kyle Kuzma's checked in for the Lakers. The Hawks have gotten exactly two-thirds of their shots to find the bottom of the net here in the fourth. Eight of 12. Now, here's Lopez. A three ball. Hits the three-point bomb. And the Bucks lead by four. First three of the half. Second of the game. Can he beat up? LeBron kicks the call. Well, Pope. Pass to Howard. Nice passing here by Los Angeles. Over Lopez. LeBron can't get it to go. Defense made an impact right there. Definitely got him uncomfortable going up with it. Stolen by Caldwell Pope. In the corner, it's James. He's looking for Howard and finds him. Setting the table for his teammates, James. Enjoy sharing and passing the ball and getting others involved. I think more than any other aspect of his game. LeBron against Giannis. Passes it to DiVincenzo. Misses the three. You know, it's really surprising that they're up at this point, given that he struggled so mightily. It's going down to Jacumbo. Here's Hill. Yes! And the foul. That one on Caldwell Pope. And, and doing a really good job here of pounding it inside in the second half. Sound strategy with the lead. opinion Hill is simply one of the best perimeter defenders in the league while he's not that tall he's got exceedingly long arms and he does a great job using that length to dissuade passes and to challenge shots now here's Howard pass to Davis that's good and so Howard with the assist and that's 23 points for Davis and they're passing the ball very crisply here the pass to DiVincenzo. A shot by Middleton. Wide open. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Middleton's got the lead up to six now for the Bucks. Pass to Davis. 
Back to James. Outside, Davis over Middleton. And it's Davis missing. Well, I like the defense there. Right up in his grill, didn't give him a chance. Outside, Hill. Lopez outside. And again, Milwaukee with the triple. Yeah, they're relying on their three-point shooting and getting pretty good results. And here's James. He'll bring it up for Los Angeles. They trail by nine points. Howard with it. To the paint. Here's Davis. And Davis throws it down. And, you know, I think this is exactly what you want Howard to do. I mean, when somebody's open, show that you're willing to give the ball up. Giannis, that's a two-pointer. Milwaukee the rebound. The shot misses. Lakers trail by seven. Caldwell Pope, this is to LeBron. Down low. Here's Kuzma. No good on the shot. The Bucks go the other way with it. DiVincenzo passes to Lopez. Here's the three. The Lakers with the rebound. Davis has got 11 rebounds in the game. Kuzma kicks to Davis for three. Caldwell Pope hacks in there. Davis with the assist. Davis has got three assists now in this one. Timeout time called. Out, the Bucks. Now we get the chance to present our Jordan player of the game, Giannis Antetokounmpo. And what an amazing ball game we've seen from him. It's been a one-man show worth the price of admission all by itself. There wasn't anything he couldn't do on that court tonight. Eric Bledsoe's checked in for George Hill. Milwaukee with the ball. Four-point game. Back to Bledsoe. To the inside. Knocks it loose. And stolen by James. To the paint. Here's Howard. Oh. What a chance! White Howard wants to be the man during these possessions, and he's been able to come up in crucial spot. On the wing, yeah. James covering. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. 16 points for Brooke Lopez. Boy, those are the kinds of plays that Lopez is known for. Huge basket there. Los Angeles calls timeout. They're trailing by five. 135 left to play in the final quarter. One thirty-five left in the fourth quarter. And the officials will call the illegal screen right there. And not the most common call you'll see in the NBA, but hard to argue that pick wasn't illegal. Yeah, you know, the officials aren't nearly as lenient as they used to be on that call. As a matter of fact, I know I got away with a lot of those in my playing days, but that was 40 years ago. Here's DiVincenzo. They grabbed their own miss. And to Takumbo. Good. Nice job down low. Giannis has got 39. And, you know, he is unafraid on the Takumbo. So good at measuring up the defense, sizing them up, and then keeping his focus. Bucks leading by seven. Down low. Here's Middleton. Oh, and there's the one-handed James. Watch out below. When Middleton rises up like that, remarkable at punching it down on him. Caldwell Pope outside. Outside, Davis. Here's Kuzma. No good. They had a chance to end the run there. 
and it's Bledsoe. That time on the assist by Middleton. And now it's an 11 point Bucks lead. Here's Los Angeles now. And here is LeBron. Passes it to Howard. Now here's Kuzma. A three pointer, no good. Well, this one is winding down now. Milwaukee can watch the clock run out. Onto Takumbo, looking it over. And they've done it, the new NBA champions. What a moment it is right now to see the team who played so well together enjoying this NBA championship moment. Well, Kevin, it's awesome to be here to witness what happened tonight. And seeing this team come together over the course of the season and on into the playoffs, what a joy. I mean, there is no better champion the league could have asked for. And a pleasure here at 2K Sports to be with you all season long. Good night, everyone.